Hi, it's Martin here, your Kangen water guy, talking today about cleaning the Inespa shower head. Now, the Inespa and the Inespa DX are pretty much the same product. Those, who've, those who basically have got the Inespa DX, there is gonna be a difference in the head and the way that you can take the cartridge apart to change the filter. I've still got the Inespa because it works perfectly fine. But the, if you follow the instructions in your manual, it will tell you how to remove your, your head from your shower. So all I've done here is I've unscrewed this pipe off the, the long cord and I've brought it into here, into the kitchen area. And I get a key from Enagic and that key allows me to remove this head. So if I put that in, um, and just to let you know, I have actually removed, I have actually removed this head before because it was quite tight. So it might be hard. One of the things I recommend is you can get grip pads or something to hold onto here because it's this gray section here that actually unscrews off. So it was quite tight. I managed to do it without a grip pad, just um, basically holding it together. But you're just gonna turn it anti-clockwise and it's gonna start to come out. Just be aware that whenever you're undoing something, you've got it over a, a, a table or somewhere, just in case anything falls out. So whenever you're undoing anything like this, you might just want to hold it this way up. And we turn it over, lo and behold, we've got this section here, which sits in there. We've also got this white bit that comes off, but we don't need to worry about that. So what I've actually got is two bowls. I've got a bowl here for the head, and I've got a bowl, a little bowl here for this, these sections. Now, you may notice that this is also like a kind of mesh. So that really wants to come out. So I've just turned that to get it out, and you can see the state of what it looks like. It's pretty gross to be fair. Now, I'm gonna be soaking this in white vinegar. I'm just gonna use an everyday white vinegar. I'm just gonna leave it to soak and then I'm gonna give it a gentle rub, especially gently over this because I don't wanna damage it. But one of the other things you can do is once you're leaving it to soak, because you get a lot of calcium buildup and, and that will block the holes and reduce the flow from the Inespa, you could choose to get maybe a, a very small safety pin and once it's soaked and done its thing, just basically gently poke through the holes to clear out any mineral buildup. Once again, wipe it around there, give it a good wash, and it's ready to go. So that's basically what I'm going to do now, is I'm just gonna pour some white vinegar in here and just leave it all to soak. And that's, what, that's literally <laughs> what I'm going to do. I'm gonna show you so you don't think I'm kidding you. So that's in there. I'm also gonna put it in here. Now that might sound a bit crazy, but I'm just gonna leave it in there to soak so it'll help clean and get rid of any, any buildup that's in there. And what you may find is that it soaks through and it starts coming through the head. Um, but I'm not too fussed. It's just to help break down and clear, clear it up a bit. But I'm more bothered about this side because this is, this is the one that I want to make sure. It's cleaning all of the, and I'll show you as best I can. It's cleaning all of the um, all of the calcium, all of the mineral buildup in there. So it's important that you know you and you always keep the things that come, the keys, the spanners, and so on with your with your products because they're there for a reason. Regular maintenance is going to help. I haven't cleaned this for a while. I actually was going to do a whole video on on the Inespa in itself, and I am going to do, but I won't incorporate the fact that I've cleaned the head or the state of the head. I can already see how it's lifting some of this here this is already looking better which is really good but i'll naturally have to wash it out otherwise i'm going to smell like i'm a chip shop uh, might be attractive to somebody who loves chips but at the same time i don't want to smell of vinegar so i'll make sure i really wash all this stuff down but i'll probably leave that to sit for maybe an hour i'm actually going to be going out very soon so i'm probably going to leave it for a couple of hours come back get a safety pin go through all those holes make sure everything's super clean give it a good wash down in just normal tap water with bit of soap in there, make sure it's all cleaned out properly so it's not gonna create, create a load of suds and it's all ready to go. So please understand and remember as best you can, the ionizers, all the Enagic products, the, the, the Inespa, they're there and they're to be maintained by ourselves. If we maintain them, they're gonna last us a long time. And also while what we're actually after is the final product, what comes out of them, that's what we're looking to go on our body, what we're looking to consume and so on in regards to the Kangen water and et cetera. If they're coming out healthier because we've maintained them, then it can only be good for us. So I look forward to seeing your comments below, whatever resonated with you. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. 
Go through any of the other video videos on my YouTube channel because they're there to educate further. If you've got any questions, if you're looking, just go in and try and find them. They're always good, not only for yourself, but maybe you know other people with the Enagicon ionizers. Maybe you're a distributor. Maybe you're wanting to share it with other people. Share the videos. They're there to educate and help people understand the truth about Enagic and Kangen water. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day. Bye for now. Enjoying my YouTube channel? Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive further value.